your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about the hey guys McJeffries here and welcome to That's right guys, we are back in the North City. Welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. I am of course with Jefferies and today we are doing a little bit of a catch up and then a little bit of construction work. So you can see at the moment we are following a metro train and today's episode has next to nothing to do with metro. I just thought I'd introduce the metro service again. It's been a while actually since we last looked at the metro so it's nice to be back. You can see this train is about to return to its depot via this nice little set of junctions and stations here. Um, overall I'm actually still very happy with the metro. It's a very 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 integral part of this integral part of the city. I can't speak today. I'm already messing up my lines. I blame it on the head injury. For those of you who haven't seen on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, I had a little bit of a buff on the head during my time in Portugal. Um, I say it was a new experience for me. Got to spend an hour or so in a Portuguese hospital. It was all fun and games in the end though so uh, don't need to worry about me, turns out I'm 100% fine and um, it's a small split on the head, got some stitches in but overall I'm okay. So because of that and because of redecorating the house and things like that, today's episode is actually tomorrow's episode. This is going out on Sunday, I'm actually recording this on Saturday so that gives you an idea as to why today's episode is delayed. I will post pictures on Twitter at some point in the future as to the state of my room so you can see why videos are a little bit um, inconsistent at the moment. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about what's going on in the North City. So let's start with the monorail, which is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to head over to the City West. Because we have two new monorail lines. Um, in fact, you can see one of the little ones here. These are the new express monorails, the little three cars. They actually carry 440 people, so they're not that small overall. But they are the smallest of the two in terms of um, car size on this network. The bigger ones are these ones here, they hold 720 in total and you can see we've got a bit of a queue going into the depot and the reason behind that is thus, we now have four monorail lines. We have the two express lines which you guys saw me build the last episode or the episode before, I think it might have been the last episode thinking about it um, and we've also got two new lines, we've got these little local lines City Orbit, Clockwise and City Orbit Anti-Clockwise uh, we also have these little through routes, these are for the express monorail, so you don't need to worry too much about them. We've got two different styles of station. We've got this style, in fact we've got three different styles of station. We've got this style here, where the express tracks deviate away from the local tracks, and the two platforms are on the side. This is my least favourite, because obviously you've got beams crossing over each other here, and it doesn't actually look that realistic. Uh, you've then got the normal way that I build these stations here, so you've got the express tracks going through the middle, and then you've got the two uh, local stations up and then you've got the third type which are at the hubs themselves so over here for example at Sanctuary Park you can see we've just got two bog standard platforms all trains stop at these stations so there's no need to have um, extra lines or anything like that and it works as with most things in this city it seemed to work pretty much first time and I'm very happy with it, very pleased with it again like the metro we're carrying lots of people around the city uh, a lot of the time so overall, big grand success, uh, very happy with it, and I'm looking forward to expanding on that network as we continue with this city and indeed this series. Something else I want to show you guys before we carry on with the construction work in today's episode is what I've done to the City Auto Network. We have a new station, and you might see uh, over here at Greenway, there's a couple of little subtle differences. Um, last week we of course rebuilt Greenway slightly, we added Greenway East over here, which I don't think I've renamed yet. No, I need to do that. Let's do that now quickly. So we've got Greenway, East, Ooh. 1, so it's heading towards, oh, number's already assigned, it's fine, I'll just put zero at the end of it. You might notice that uh, you could probably hear my typing a lot more than normal, that is because I have decided to set up my new microphone. Because of my head injury, I can't really wear my headset at the moment, so I've got my new microphone set up. Audio levels are probably going to be a bit all over the place. I'm hoping you guys can give me some feedback on that so I know that 
um, what sort of what needs to be changed, what's good about it, what's bad about it, etc. Uh, all feedback, of course, as usual, is appreciated. So don't be afraid to let me know, especially if things like my typing is too loud, because then I can move my keyboard away from the microphone a little bit more, because at the moment it's directly underneath. So obviously there's going to be a little bit of uh, a volume problem there, but again, this is new, so you, you start off with something new and then you slowly work on it to make it better. So hopefully you guys will give me the feedback that I need and we'll get this fixed and working 100% as with everything else that's happening on the channel so far. Yes, Greenway. We've got Greenway West, which is the existing Greenway, the old Greenway, the legendary Greenway, and we've got Greenway East, which is the new one from last week, which already has proven to be very, very popular and very, very successful. It does help that we've got this line that goes across the top of Greenway. We don't have that luxury over here. We might do in the future, but at the moment we don't. And these stops under here is a new city auto station. Now, the way this works is quite unique, quite different, and also a massive pain in the backside to build, I have to admit. Because what it does, this station, is it actually, you can join or leave the station from both directions in both directions, if that makes sense. So you can see there's a pair of inner tracks and a pair of outer tracks. The outer tracks are currently not being used. They will be used in the near future. Um, the way this works is you've got four tracks that run all the way along down here. You then have the outer tracks break off and they join the main line in one direction. So in this case, these ones head north. They connect up here, um, all nice, lovely. There's another little branching track that goes off there. They connect up and everything works nicely. The inner tracks then do the same thing but in the other direction. So in this case, they head south. Same thing on the east side. They head north, they head south. Um, this station caused a little bit of a problem, but we managed to get the tracks to loop around and everything. So overall, it was okay. We managed to get it to work. We have two new City Auto lines to go along with that. Um, we have City Autos 11 and City Autos 12. We also have City Auto 10, which is another new City Auto line. But that one I'm not going to focus on right now, because really, it's, it's that was something that I just decided to make myself. What it actually does is loops around to this station here. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. Where does it go? It does something. It does a loop, a very small loop, and then it heads back again. Where did it go? Maybe it doesn't go this way. Maybe it goes the other way. I can't remember now. That's not very good. There it is. It goes there. Oh, I think I remember where it goes. Yeah, I think it does go across this way. City Auto. Yes. So all the new, the uh, three new City Auto lines do head across this way. City Auto 10 think is the one, yeah, City Auto 10 is the one that terminates under here at the City Auto Express station. That's correct. I remember now. City Autos 11 and 12, a bit like some of the other loops that we've got in the city, they actually head in opposite directions. So City Auto 11, not that stop. City Auto 11 is the um, anti-clockwise line and City Auto 12 is the clockwise line. That's about right, yes. Again, I'm trying to remind myself, it's been about a week since I built this, so my memory is a bit hazy, but we're getting there, guys. Just bear with me a second and we'll get there. So yes, what does this new line do? Well, as you can see, uh, it diverges up here. The new line curves off down this way, runs along this street here, with these separate stops all the way along, uh, and these stops here, comes round this way, goes over this city auto station, um, goes across this existing tramway slash trolleyway. It then runs down this street here before hitting the new avenue that we built again. I think it was last week we built that new avenue going through the new suburbs. And then it goes all the way along this new avenue, um, all the way along here, round the back of Sanctuary Park, which, as I said before, is now no longer really secluded from the rest of the city. It's now included in the vast majority of the city. So that's that's turned out quite nicely actually, I'm very pleased with that. I've just noticed we've got a bit of road here that needs to be finished. There we go. Um, carries on going along this avenue here, all the way around here. At this point, there's going to be a diverging line, although I haven't fully decided. I don't think it's going to look great if it curves off. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. So I might be able to get away with a triangular junction there. Maybe even another little line that goes off down this way and curves through here. I haven't fully decided on that yet, um, but it curves up here, through here, connects back up to this main line here, and then runs back to where it first diverged from. 
and again it works quite nicely and the new stations especially the new city auto bit style stations under here including the one under greenway they look very good they integrate very nicely into the system everything works it's all lovely and i'm very very pleased with it we also have uh, loads and loads of snaking tracks under the hit the city now look at all this track i had to build just to get all these stations linked up it's crazy but it's organized chaos it works and that is the most important thing in this city and i say this so many times if it works keep it because you know every single transport network has parts that look bad but they work and that's why they still exist so overall very happy we can now move on from that and actually get onto the construction side of today's episode because today i want to finish this island this island has been bugging me for a while the metro train that we started off by watching was actually the one that looped across this island and whilst it was looping across I realised that there's so much more to this island that we could actually put in. We've got this huge road that runs through the middle for no real reason, it doesn't go anywhere. So we need to actually make that go somewhere. Um, we also need to build up on this area over here, we've got this huge green area, we might as well use it for something, you know? Actually build something, we might even be able to get a new hub going on on this island, the actual the far eastern section of the city plus a nice little peninsula bridge to this part of the the, uh, the map over here build some more city up, got reasonably flat sections here a little bit of water there which we might have to build a bridge over but overall we've got loads of potential but it all has to start from this island so I suggest right now we go into a little bit of a time lapse we actually get this bit of the city finished and then when we come back afterwards we'll do a little bit of tour sorry, a little bit of a tour as to what's new and yeah, just follow some vehicles around, follow some people around and go back to the good old days of stalking. So, we're going to start up the music now guys, so thank you very much for watching, I'm going to say that now, we will be back afterwards of course, but once again thanks for watching, if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up down below and I will see you in a bit.
Thank <laughs> you.